All right, so Occupy Democrats, the anti-fascists, the allies to democratic socialism, these warriors that fight for true liberation, etc., etc., well, big surprise. They're just authoritarians. They say that uh, Greece announces that it'll begin fining the unvaccinated $113 a month. Austria announces that it'll begin fining them up to $4,000 a month. And Quebec announces that it may begin slapping them with significant fines. Uh, retweet if you think that America must do it too. All right, so it's not really that surprising that they're uh, praising authoritarianism. Now, I don't care if you're pro-vax, anti-vax, neutral vax, I don't care about any of that. But one thing that can never be said, and one thing that Occupy Democrats can certainly never say, is that they're against authoritarian government. Um, because what the hell would be the point of finding people who aren't getting the shot? Because hell, even Walensky, the director of the CDC, finally had to admit, hey, we can no longer say that the vaccine prevents transmission. Gotta stop saying that, because it doesn't. Viral shedding still takes place among the vaccinated. Which is unfortunate, because if it did, then this really would be over with. But also, not for nothing, it's worth pointing out that it took her a little while to admit it. Um, better late than never, for sure, but here's the problem. You overpromised by saying that if COVID enters a vaccinated person, it'll be a dead stop for it, and it won't be transmitted. She outwardly said that. And then the people who were calling BS on that statement, too many people came on way too strong in condemning them as weirdo conspiracy theorists, because as it happens, they ended up being correct, which seems to be a bit of a trend recently. So you overpromised and underdelivered, and then you overcriticized those who called you out on it. And you gave people like these Occupy Democrat authoritarians, you gave them the spine to call for something insane like this, fining people for not injecting what we tell you to, even when it'll be next to pointless as far as spreading COVID is concerned. Which not for nothing, again, the Occupy Democrats are calling for something and praising other countries for doing something that... Here we go again, supposed conspiracy theorists were warning about for quite some time, and so many people said, that'll never happen, stop watching Alex Jones, no one's going to find the unvaccinated or punish them in any way, blah 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 blah. And here we are. Now those, unsurprisingly on the left, are not only no longer calling people who say that's what's going to happen, a bunch of conspiracy theorists, they're, they're actually advocating for it right here. The way this is going is just simply writing itself at this point. We are and have been for some time officially at the point where we can very confidently say that the vaccine should be a personal choice. I mean, it's always been that way for me and I'm sure for you too, but for your average person, that should be an easy position to adopt now. You get the vaccine, COVID seems to be less of a risk. You don't get the vaccine. COVID would still be highly unlikely to be severe, but in certain groups you have a higher possibility of being more sick. But it's up to you. Case closed. But then again, also, now with Omicron, everyone's going to get it anyway, so as far as transmissibility is concerned, it isn't even much of a point to find people money who don't want the vaccine. Well, except for it being a little revenue for the government, which Occupy Democrats seem to enjoy, considering how much control they want um, for them to have over you. Again, they're disgusting authoritarians. Now, I was glad to see people bringing up again the issue of being overweight, obese, and generally unhealthy, and not caring for two plus decades about their own health. They massively, disproportionately take up hospital beds. Do you find them and put mandates on their nutrition, their calorie intake, and the expenditure of their calories? to save the health care system, and since they shed more viral particles, um, you could say those things in order to save those around them due to their irresponsibility and how they are slightly more contagious than leaner people. Um, we know this for a fact now. It's precisely the same logic. Do you do this? Would Occupy Democrats even entertain that idea? Of course not. And while they're at it, they probably support all the... Uh, all the articles that actually have been coming out recently again um, having to do with uh, pointing out the quote insidious nature of fat phobia so they pretty much live in an absolutely upside down world they make no sense and are absurdly inconsistent now the only argument I saw because people brought up the whole obese overweight issue 
The only argument I saw against it, and I'm paraphrasing, is that the vaccine takes two seconds to get, whereas losing weight takes a lifestyle change, and it's a longer period of time to make that change. Um, you know, basically, it's more difficult, takes more commitment, takes more patience and energy and forethought. Um, and that's all true, but not for nothing. I've said this before, we've been at this for two years and the entire issue of being obese and how that makes COVID more dangerous is the number one disturbingly under-talked about problem by far. Nothing else even comes close. In those two years, if, say, CNN had done what it took them until last week to do, and they had put more pressure on this issue, who knows, maybe we would have seen a difference made, perhaps even a significant difference, if the beloved Don Lemon and Dr. Fauci pressed this issue. But no, just like these occupied Democrat authoritarians, they just argue for more government control. Make sure you don't take care of yourself. Just have the creepy, weird father figure-like government force you to do things. Um, otherwise, they'll take away some of your allowance. Um, but as far as their argument that losing weight is too difficult to be a solution, first off, I say no. It's not too difficult. It's just difficult. That would be fair to say but it's not impossible. There's an important distinction there. And perhaps with good, consistent messaging, as I said, a difference could have been made and maybe could still be made yet. But regardless, the people who make this argument need to understand that what they are unequivocally saying is that because it's too difficult, apparently, for other people to take responsibility and make good decisions for their own health that would make any mandate pointless, because that's just too much effort, what they're saying is that because of that, they therefore advocate for imposing mandates on you. That is unacceptable and should not be tolerated for even a moment. Um, but anyway, uh, that is all for now. Like, subscribe, share the video. It's extremely appreciated and you take it easy.